The tales of our exploits will survive as long as the human voice itself. And even after that, when the robots recall the human absurdities of sacrifice and compassion, they will remember us. They will robot laugh at our courageous folly. But something in their iron robot hearts will yearn to have lived and died as we did. On the hero's errand, the real heroes are people noticing things, paying attention. That's from the current best-selling novel, The Fault in Our Stars, by John Green. Popular novels and Hollywood movies have a long history of depicting a future society where people are subservient to machines or those who control the machines. But is this really something to be concerned about? Are new technologies outpacing our ability to understand their place in our lives? That's a question most of us have probably asked not only about robotics and artificial intelligence, but also about genetic modification, nanotechnology, machine learning, or even internet security and privacy. I'm Jerry McCartney, System CIO at Purdue University, and I invite you to join us as we examine emerging technologies and their role in society at a day-long seminar, Dawn or Doom, the New Technology Explosion. The seminar will feature respected experts in various disciplines who will examine questions such as, is technology moving too fast for effective government regulation? What are the risks and unintended consequences of these emerging technologies? Will corporations replace universities or governments as the organizing platform for innovation and progress? If so, what does this mean for us? And will governments weaponize these emerging technologies as they did with atomic energy? One of the featured speakers at this seminar will be James Barrett, author of Our Final Invention, who will present his dystopian view that artificial intelligence will give rise to machines that will dominate humanity. Other experts will present a more optimistic view of these technologies, which have the potential to mitigate or completely do away with many of the global problems we face today. It should be a fascinating day of inquiry and discussion. I hope you'll join us.